So the world has been in mourning and in complete shock over the events of Junior's horrific murder um, over the past week. New video footage has been released from the bodega, the corner store uh, where the gang viciously pulled Junior out and attacked him. Um, This new footage, you can see that the store owners basically, you know, uh, pointed out where Junior was hiding. Junior had um, tried to seek refuge behind the store counter. He seemed completely terrified and frightened um, the way he jumped over that counter. Um, Then, you know, the men pulled uh, Junior out. And then now you we see this new footage of inside the bodega, uh, Junior comes back in, uh, bleeding, uh, crying out for help, and the store owners shoo him away. They literally just shoo him away, all right? Now, I have refused to show the video of him being brutally attacked, but I think it's necessary that people see this footage of um, the store owners turning Junior away. This is necessary for everyone to see you know boycott that store start thinking about where you're spending your money do these people actually care about you would these people actually help you in a time of need um junior's mother was just you know completely perplexed at the fact that these men who had seen her son grow up you know they had been going to this corner store for years these men knew her son they knew her and they still refused to help him they still refused to give him any assistance in his time of need all right so i'm going to show this video right now okay guys so you can see junior trying to get refuge he's terrified he tries to hide it looks like the men actually the store owners actually waved his hands letting the gang bangers know that that junior was behind the counter they tried to drag him out um uh, it seems to me they had plenty of time to lock the doors plenty of time to lock the doors and pull out your gun i know you have a gun having a corner store in the bronx there's no way you don't have a gun so they dragged junior out the store they still never lock the doors. Junior comes back in, bleeding, seeking refuge. They shoo him out. He runs out. Um, the guy in the black shirt, you can see he feels bad about his decision. He puts his hand on his arms. He kind of looks outside. Um, but now it's too late. You know, Junior is gone. He is trying to save his own life running down the street. Um, it's just horrific. It's horrific. I don't want to so keep, keep on knowing, knowing that they out there. Out there. Like, he looks like they he's were grown men. Her brother no you know, was 15. He's staggering and he decides to run for it. He decides to run towards the hospital. I have to tell you right now, Junior is my hero, man. Like, I can't get over his resilience. I can't get over his, you know, just... Uh, to me, he's a superhero, you know, the fact that he was able to run and, and seek help for himself, the fact that he cared about his own life enough to even know which direction the hospital was, you know, being wounded and bleeding out, feeling betrayed, feeling confused, feeling scared. Um, and he still fought for his life. He still, you know, was smart enough to run towards the ho- hospital because he knew that the store owners were not going to assist him. He was crying out in the streets. No one was going to help him, you know? And this just, I can't get over this. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my lifetime. I have experienced a lot, but I have just never seen a complete disregard for human life in this way before. Not only by the gang members, but just by the people who were around, who could have assisted and who could have helped. The fact that they just you know, don't even care about involving themselves because either they're too scared to involve themselves or they just don't care enough because this isn't their, you know, blood. This isn't their family. I don't know what it is. I don't know, but I'm calling for a change. I'm calling for action. I know for me personally, a lot of people say what they would or wouldn't have done, but I know there's no way in hell I could have just sat by and not helped that boy. I don't care if I started screaming like a maniac just to scare the gang members. Just scream at the top of your lungs. Tell them the police are on their way. Scream. Throw cans of fucking beans that was in the store. Lock the door. Starts just screaming, crying. Stop, stop, stop. It looks like no one was even affected in that way. No one even tried to intervene. 
pain in any way, shape or form, even if it's just to scare the fucking killers off, you know, and and even afterwards, they were gone. The damage was done. That boy came in the store again, just hoping you guys would help him while he was bleeding out and you don't even help him. I think the one good thing we can take from this and believe me, it's very hard to, to see even one good part of this whole situation but the one one good thing is i believe people all over the world were extremely affected and this really hit home for people so i hope and i pray that as a people if we are ever faced with situations like this in the future that we will in some way shape or form intervene and we will know you know that our actions are helpful Okay, some people think they don't have the power. Some people don't have the courage. I get it. I understand. Nobody wants to lose their lives. But sometimes you just cannot sit by and stand idly watching things go away. You just can't. All right. It's uh, to me, I I would have been willing to, to die that day. I would have been willing to risk it all. I just it would have been instinctual. I just cannot sit by and watch people in pain and misery and me not even try to help. All right. So I hope all of you guys out there, you know, will think twice about helping anyone you see in need. Um, And let's just do that for Junior, man. Let's just do that for Junior. We can't bring him back. But what we can do is make a positive change in his name. All right. So let me guys, uh, let me know what you guys think about this. I think that store needs to be done. It's over. If I was the store owners, I would never want to come back to that uh, store anyways. So um, I don't know about criminal charges. I don't think there's anything they could do. Men being cowardly. I don't think there's a crime that can be charged for that. But um, let me know what y'all think. All right. Bye.